motherfucker be wrong. Big gun, big yes, on. What's up, guys? It's me again, Notorious J, here for another video. I know y'all see the title of this video My Shoe Collection. I'm about to show y'all some fire, some heat. Y'all about to just be amazed. First, I want to do a little quick disclaimer. <laughs> This video, I'm not trying to brag at all because I got shoes. I'm not trying to brag. I'm broke just like y'all. Like, I'm broke, but I'm just a broke person with shoes. Like, I'm I'm broke. I'm B-R-O-C-K broke, boy. I'm broke. I'm B-R-O-C-K broke. B-R-O-C-K broke. B-R-O-C-K broke. B-R-O-C-K broke. I'm not bragging at all. I'm just showing y'all my collection. So don't think I'm bragging because I'm not one of those type of people who brag. I really wasn't going to do this video, but then I was just like... I got it. I might as well show it. I know some of my subscribers probably like shoes, so yeah. Oh, and another thing, I am not a sneakerhead or a hype beast, none of that. Or I'm probably like a borderline sneakerhead, like not no major sneakerhead. Like I'm not about to buy shoes and not wear them. I'm not about to buy some expensive shoes just to have them sitting on the shelf to show people I got them. No, all my shoes I wear. So yeah. Anyways, though, let's hop into this shoe collection. I'm gonna start off with like my basic shoes, then I'm gonna work my way up to the heat. First shoe we got right here, got my plain black vans. These things right here, y'all see these things all black. I bought these things like um about six, no, not six years ago, about four years ago. I was taking this trip to LA and I wanted to fit in with the people in LA, so I bought these and I brought some chucks. My chucks, I wore those things out. I don't even know where they yet. I don't got them with me and they probably back at home. But these vans, I bought these two. Only wore them about five times within like the last five years because I don't like the way they look on my feet. They make my feet look like clown feet for some reason. Like, I don't know, these vans, I'm not really a fan of them. Still look kind of brand new because like I said, I barely wear them. Boom! Then we got my um van, skate, low, checkerboard, black edition. I like these a lot. These things right here are so clean i bought these over the summer just because i like them everybody has them but like you wear these with some nice jeans some nice pants period they just look so nice that's why i had to cop them then we got my van skate highs the red and white ones these are nice too i bought these last year in school if you look at them the bottom is kind of not fully white i actually wear these a lot i like my van skate high these are a clean shoe like i know when they first came out a lot of people would get them but they don't get them like that anymore but the van skate highs are so clean to me that's why i had to get them and i got them all red because the red just pops in black and white these are ugly to me but the red just pops for some reason that's why i like them i wear on people look at them i like these shoes now we got my pumas my puma suede navies these things are clean i haven't worn these yet or have i no, no, I haven't worn these yet. I don't know when I'm gonna wear them. Waiting on the right day, right outfit, but these are clean. I know a lot of people sleep on Puma, but Pumas are nice and they starting to come back out. Like I see more people starting to wear them and stuff. I remember when like, if you had a pair of Pumas, people would start you lame, but now Pumas are starting to come back out. Now we got my new balances, the, um, what's this, five, seven, four? But nah, my new balances, these are like the dad shoes. I like the green on it, a laid back shoe. These things are comfortable real comfortable. I don't really wear them that much. I wear them a few times, but yeah, these are my new balances right here. Boom, now we got my Asics, the Gel Light 3. Oh, dang, I was right. Gel Light 3s. These things right here, boy, mm, these are some nice shoes. Like, people sleep on Asics like big time. Asics are a nice shoe. It's like a running shoe, but it looks real nice. You can wear these things with some jeans, wear these things with some pants, wear them with shorts. Whatever you wear them with, they look nice. Like, I never ever seen somebody wear these. Like, well, I've seen people wear like the Asics, like the dad ones, that those ugly. Asics. Right. I've never seen anybody wear these type of Asics right here. Actually, no, I have seen people like online, but I never seen somebody in person. Like at my school, I think I'm like the only one with some Asics gel lights. Like, like I haven't seen one person on campus wear these. Every time I wear them, people always ask me, "Oh, what shoes are you wearing?" Like I like those shoes. What's those called? Like every time I wear these, I get so many compliments for some reason. I like them. A unique shoe. If you don't got a pair of Asics, I suggest you should get some. It's red color, it's real nice, but they got some other colors too they look real real nice so you should get you some aces boom these are my reebok classics these things are fresh i only wore them once i'm gonna start wearing them more but these are so fresh to me i saw kendrick lamar wear them in like a little um i don't know was it was it a picture some picture for reebok he had them on and i was like dang them things look clean and then i saw a little yachty wear them too and i was like dang they look real clean, so I had to cop these things. These things are so 
smooth to me like that all white with the gummy bottom the gummy bottom makes it that much more smooth for some reason like if it was a black bottom it wouldn't pop that much but that gummy bottom makes it look so smooth to me like these things right here I like these a lot. Next, we got my NMD Adidas. Basic NMD Adidas white gray. These are some comfortable shoes right here. Like if you if you want some running shoes, something that you can like just walk around a lot in, I suggest you get some NMDs. And they look cool. Kinda hype beast this. Well, not this color. They got some other hype beast colors and stuff. But nah. Real nice looking shoe. If you got a pair of NMDs, you know they only got like three little um three little lace locks. I had to like triple lace it and all that because I do not like tying my shoes at all. I like having them loose, comfortable. So I had to make it, I don't know if y'all see it, but it's a bunch of laces right there just so it can get that more like relaxed look. Oh, now we got my beaters right here. These things are beat. These are my Kobe zooms these shoes right here i did not buy them i got them as a gift hand-me-downs actually for my older brother and they weren't even my older brother they were my older brother friends so <laughs> yeah i never ever like wear these shoes like out these are like my beaters i play basketball in these i be taking people ankles with these things on i put these on and i turn into kobe boy nobody can stop me i'm ball hogging when i got these bad boys on these things are huge i don't wear size 13 these are size 13 i wear size 12 but I tie them real tight and they get the job done. Now we got my all black Harajis. Bought these last year. Just a nice shoe. Not much to say about them. Real clean. Go with almost anything and really don't get dirty. I like Harajis. I would never get all white Harajis. Those are ugly to me. It's other colorways I like, but I had to get the all black just so I can get them dirty. Mm, now we got my Kobe 8 These things right here. These got a story to them. A small story I'm about to tell y'all. It's crazy, dude. All right. Dude, back in high school, I had no shoe game. I was a sneakerhead, but I had no shoe game at all. Like, I could tell you everything about shoes. I could tell you when the next Jordan might have come out, what material the Jordan's made out of, when Michael Jordan wore them himself, all that, dude. But I had no shoes. I couldn't afford shoes back in high school. Single mom, she couldn't just go out and buy me a ton of shoes. I went to a private high school. And I know y'all probably thinking, oh, how was you poor but went to a private school? My mom taught at the school. If she didn't teach at the school, I probably wouldn't go because it's expensive to go. But since she taught there, I got to go for free. Anyways, though, at the school, we had to wear uniforms. But every Friday, we could wear our own shoes. Any shoe that you want, you could wear them. And it was a private black school, not a private white school. So, you know, black people, they be coming in off flashy since everybody parents was like rich and stuff all of them like was paying for their kids to go to a private school which is expensive their parents had no problem buying them shoes like every single friday i would come in every single day with my busted citrus nines like i got them from my older brother but they was busted i wear them every friday dude i would get picked on bully people would clown me always laughing me like oh he wearing those same jordans oh he broke wearing those same jordans dude it got to a point where i just stopped wearing them i came in with my dress shoes just so i wouldn't get like any attention brought to me because i didn't want to get picked on and stuff i was always beg my mom to buy me shoes but like i said we she couldn't afford to just buy me all these shoes and stuff and i was kind of struggling too in school my grades wasn't all that anyways though my mom she made a promise to me she was like hey Jalen, if you can do good this semester, good, good grades. I'm gonna buy you some shoes. You talking about somebody who worked they butt off that semester, dude? I work like crazy, staying after school, staying up real late, doing homework, studying, all that, dude. I never worked that hard for school since then. <laughs> But nah, dude, I, I worked like crazy, got straight A's. And my mom, like, she lived up to her promise, dude. Like, as soon as I showed her my report card, she took me straight to the mall. And she got me these right here. Like, I should have told her to actually wait till some, some fire J's come out. But nah, like, she took me straight to the mall. And I was just so happy. Saw these. And I was like, dang, I really like Kobe 8s. She bought me these Kobe 8 systems. And that's why I love these things so much. These will be a cherished shoe just because... I worked so hard to get them, and I don't know, I'm always remember me working like crazy in school to accomplish something I wanted. So these Kobe 8s, these are my bad boys right here. Boom! Now we got my um KD7. I do not know the name of these right here. If you know the name of these, tell me. I don't know the name of these at all. Um, these I got these my junior year in high school for Christmas. I actually didn't want these. I wanted some 11s. 
um, dang it, what 11s come out? Um, uh, dang, I don't know. I think it was the Gammas that came out that year. I don't know. Anyways, though, like Jordan switched it up. I remember it used to be it used to be one eleven every single year around Christmas. Now they got about six or seven elevens that drop a year. Like it's not even cool to have elevens anymore because it's just so easy to get. Nah, that's what I wanted. I couldn't get them, so I got these KD sevens right here. I like them a lot. I used to wear them a lot. I don't really wear them that much anymore. Still look kind of clean. I like the purple. There's not too many things I can wear this with though. Like there's so many different colors that I, I, I don't I don't know what to wear them with. I only got I, I will only wear the shoe with one shirt. I have one shirt to go with this and that's it. So yeah. Now we got my Liger KD sixes. Y'all see these? Y'all see these? These came out when I was in high school. When I was in like 10th grade, dude. But the thing is, like I said, my mom couldn't afford them. I, re I bought these recently over the summer. I actually wore these things today with this shirt. Y'all see? Yeah, boy, not a dress. I went with these shirts. Anyways, though, KD6 Ligers. These are probably my favorite KD6s. Um, like I said, they came out a while ago. Couldn't get them when they first came out. I, I begged my mom to give me these shoes, but she didn't buy them. I saw them on GOAT. Y'all should definitely check out GOAT. That's the app if you are into shoes. They got shoes on there. Dead stock. Verify them, man. They'll send them to you. Mail them to you just like that. It's not sponsored by GOAT. GOAT need to sponsor me, though. Anyways, though, yeah. I bought these over the summer because I really used to want them, and I saw them on GOAT, and I was like, dang. I remember these shoes. I still want them. Bought them. Wore them today for the first time. Like them. People was like, dang, Jay, I like your shoes. So, yeah, my KD6 Ligers. Now, that was the basic stuff. Now, we about to get into the heat. The fire, the flames, all that stuff. I know y'all was ready for me to get through all them. Now I'm about to hop into the fire. Boom! I'll do that. These are my Yeezy V2 350s. Yeah, zebras. I was about to say Oreos. But nah, these are my zebras. These are some clean shoes. These are probably my favorite Yeezys. These are the. Ah, I just had it on my top of my brain. The black ones with the little red stripe. Dang it, what's those? I forgot, I forgot. Um, I don't know the breads. I don't know. Anyways, though, these are my favorite Yeezys right here. I wore them for the first time probably like last week. I'm not a hype beast at all. I love Yeezys, not because of the price. I just love Yeezys. I remember for the longest, I would tell people that I'm going to get some Yeezys. People would always be like, oh, no, you ain't ever getting Yeezys. Oh, you got to spend so much money for them Yeezys. You would never get Yeezys. But nah, I worked a bit, stacked up my bread, bought these over the summer. I bought them off a of goat. I'm not going to tell y'all how much I bought them for because if I tell y'all, y'all going to think I'm rich. Far from rich. <laughs> I robbed the bank to get the money. <laughs> But nah, um, my Yeezys right here, nice shoe, I love them. Now we got my Silver Surfer foams, baby. These things right here, I wear these a lot. Probably don't look like it from the bottom, but I actually wear these a decent amount. These are like my go-to shoes when I just want to wear something out. I only like foam posit pros or foam ones. I don't know, whichever one has the check, those are the only ones you will ever see me wear. The ones without the check are just so ugly and basic looking. Boom, now that was all my other stuff. We hopping into the Jordan. <laughs> Start off with my highest number. My last shot 14s. These things right here. I bought these recently. I'm gonna tell y'all how I bought these. Cause I bought them with some other shoes. I'm gonna tell y'all how I bought these later though. When I get to my other Jordans I bought them with. But last shot 14s, real nice shoe, all black. Boom! Now we got my Space Jam 11s. Like I said, I don't tie my shoes. I think these are the only shoes I have tied. Because anytime I would have them loose, the string will always come out, so I had to tie them. But nah, these are my um Space Jam 11s. I really like 11s. These are my arm um, back 10s, dude. I like these shoes a lot. These are my favorite 10s, and these are actually a new 10. Because they came out like in, um... I don't know. Anyway, they came out earlier this year. I'm back 10s. These things are nice. I like these a lot. Black at the top with the bottom that's white. That just looks so smooth to me. My I'm back 10s. Wore them a few times, as y'all can see. But I like these shoes a lot. Boom. Now we got my three peat eights. These things right here. These are the only shoes out of my entire collection that are not dead stock. Or that I that, no that I didn't buy dead stock. Like I am an advocate of buying my shoes dead stock. I do not like buying shoes that people have put their feet in because people feet be stinking and all that. I know my feet be stinking. I got athletes foot and all that. So I don't like buying shoes that are not dead stock. These are the only shoes out of my entire collection that were not dead stock. Bought them from this dude. Only reason I bought them is because. I like eights, not that much. I really wasn't about to spend more than retail for these eights because I just, I'm not about to spend more for retail. 
because I really don't wear them that much. They still clean and all. It's just they got a crease. And I've only bought them for 100 which is not that bad. And yeah, y'all see the bottom still clean too, right? 3 p 8s right here. Real nice. Boom. Now we got my hair 7s. These things, these are my favorite 7s of all time. Better than the Bordeaux. I like the Bordeaux. Better than the Olympics. I like the Olympics, but my hair sevens, I like them because they just, I don't know, they just smooth. That red and white just looks so nice. Like, y'all see that red and white? The shoe is so nice. These actually used to be my favorite shoes, but they not anymore. So, yeah. Boom! Now we got my Black Mike Sixes or my Gatorade Sixes. I don't know what these are called, but I like them. Remember how I told y'all about my 14s? How I tell y'all a story, a quick little story about them? All right, so the way I bought these is weird, dude. I really wanted the Carmine Sixes. Y'all know the Carmines? They like, instead of it being orange, it's like a pinkish red because I really love Carmines. They got the icy bottom too. Carmines just look so nice. Anyways, though, I was looking everywhere for the Carmines on Flight Club, um, all, a bunch of different like shoe sites. I went to Goat. I saw them on Goat for 300 And I was like, ah, I really love the Carmines, but do I really want to spend that much money on the Carmines? I was like, nah. So I uh, settled. I seen these. These came out like a week before. I was gonna buy the car mines. I was just like, dang, these are kind of like the car mines, just orange instead of red. So I'm a cop them. I was looking everywhere for these. Looked on Foot Locker, all sold out. Looked on Finish Line, all sold out. Champs, a lot of websites they was all sold out on. But then somehow I came across Foot Action. I ain't even going Foot Action. Like I was on a different website, but then like a pop up for Foot Action came and it said it had a picture of these, and I was like, dang. Maybe Foot Action got them. I went on Foot Action. Foot Action still had them in my size of size 12. Actually, no, these are size 11 and a half because these run a little big in my opinion. 11 and a half, still in stock. And it had these Last Shot 14 still in stock. It also had a, a huge discount, like 30% off. You know, normally those um, little promo codes don't work for Jordan, but they work for these. So I put them both in the shopping cart, did the total, and guess what it came up to be? 250 or like 252. So I bought two pair of J's for 252, which is like a super steal. Like two pair of Georgians. I was gonna buy the Carmines for 300, but I saved $50 and got an extra pair of shoes. Like when it comes to you wanting to buy shoes offline, look around. Like a lot of people sleep on Foot Action for some reason. I looked on Foot Action recently. They still got a lot of bunch of retros on there. I saw the um he got game 13 still on there. So if you want some retros, go check out Foot Action. Now we got my metallic fob. These things right here smooth i was kind of upset when i bought these like <laughs> it was like an impulsive buy i'm not gonna tell y'all how much i spent for them because a decent amount of money probably about a month ago i went to this shoe store back at home in charlotte um so collect no no it wasn't so collection um uh, some place they like resell hey, shoes they get shoes resell them and all that i heard about it saw them on instagram so i went in there my intentions were not to buy any shoes i just wanted to see like what they got just check out the place i went in there my dumb self, I had all my money on me. I should've went in there with no, no money on me, then I definitely wouldn't have bought them. But I went in there, I saw these on the shelf, dead stock. And I was like, dang, I really want these. Like I said, it was an impulsive buy. I just straight up bought them just like that. And looking back at them, it's nothing wrong with them. I like five, don't get me wrong, I, I, I love these shoes. But the amount of money I spent on them was kind of dumb. I bet I could've found these on a website, or like GOAT or something. I buy a lot of my shoes off of GOAT, but I bet I could've found these off of GOAT much cheaper. But GOAT would've took about a whole 10 days to send them and I bought these right on the spot dead stock metallic balls I like them warm a few times as you can see still got the icy bottom so yeah boom now we got my thunder fours I really love fours fours may be my favorite number my thunder fours these things are smooth they yellow and black they just go together so nice I don't know what it is about these fours but they just look so nice they so smooth like i like these fours i want them a few times boom now we got my c mint threes these are my favorite shoe in my entire collection my c mint threes they still dead stock i have yet to wear them i don't know when i'm gonna wear them that's how much i love these these are my favorite shoes i don't know why i like them so much they just they just look so nice to me like everything about them looks so nice c mint threes I'm gonna wear these things tomorrow, actually. Wear these things to class, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, semen 3s, they look so nice. Mm. And now on to my last shoe. If you've been paying attention, you've seen that I've been going down the numbers, working from up top down to the bottom. Some ones, my royal blue ones. Like, if you are a sneakerhead, I'm not a sneakerhead, but if you are in the shoes and you don't have a pair of ones, then 
You need some ones. Nah, these are my royal blue one. I like them a lot. I really get my shoes based off of color. As you see, I like having numerous colors. I don't like just having a bunch of one color shoes. But nah, my royal blue one, they go with really almost anything. You put them on with some nice jeans, they look good. You put them on with some joggers, some Adidas pants. Even wearing with shorts and they still look nice. That's why I like one. So yeah guys that was my shoe collection as you see like i said i got some heat and then i got some basic stuff but the crazy thing is though like if you know me or like not even know me if you see me like just walking around you would not even know that i'm into shoes because i barely wear my shoes like that dude like i'm always in these bad boys right here my slides i'm always walking around with my slides these are actually new i had some more but i wore them so much that they started to tear bought these recently but nah i'm always in my slides because slides are just so comfortable i really only wear my shoes if i'm going out like out out not like just out that didn't make sense but nah guys that was my shoe collection like i said i may do a updated version next year because next year how many shoes is this this is 25 pair of shoes i may have 50 pair of shoes next year get back into buying more shoes and stuff a lot of these shoes i haven't i haven't bought shoes in a while anyways though like i said that was my shoe collection I'm not trying to brag like i said earlier just wanted to show y'all a little song song but anyways though it's me it's where it's jay signing out we'll see you guys in the next video deuces she won't snap, go get it. She won't snap, go get it. She won't this penny, go get it. She won't the brick, go get it. She won't this Gucci, get it. She won't this Louis, go get it. Lose with the spice, she get it. Everything I got.